Everyone, I'm Victoria Gima and I'm Theresa Miria. Welcome to House and Home. Well, don't you just look stunning tonight, Theresa? Thanks, Victoria. You know, it's the first game of the State of oh, Origin yeah. this week and I am nervous, but thank goodness I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> but you're clearly a fan, Theresa. Well, go the Maroons and the Blues, of course. Look, I am neutral. I'm supporting whatever team. Now, enough with the footy talk already. Here is our lineup for tonight. Yes, we have Chef Nori cooking up a mouth-watering chicken dish on Cooking with Good Midfielder. Shopping with Brandbill gives ideas on how to make the state of origin experience a better one. So stay watching for that. We will then show you how you can make hanging and standing flower pots. And later, Dr. Ambi talked to us about youth violence. Tina Pomet gives us an update from all the happenings with Bank South Pacific for this month. And finally, RSPCA talked to us about pet grooming. But first up, not sure if you heard of this one, but it's called Chicken Joy. Well, there is only one way to find out, so here now is Chef Nori on Cooking with Goodman Filler. viewers and welcome to another Cooking with Goodman Filda. Tonight we're here with our good friend again from KC Catering, Chef Norin. Chef Norin, it's good to have you back here with us on Cooking with Goodman Filda. Now what a lovely day and uh, I can't wait to get started. What are we cooking tonight? Okay, uh, tonight I am cooking my chicken joy. Chicken joy is an easy recipe where you can walk in the house. Time you cook now leftover chicken number to stop the house. You can use him to work in my chicken joy, an easy recipe. So, uh, our ingredients by using them are boneless chicken breast or any chicken pieces where you know got bone dog and by using flour, corn flour, corn flour and product long good man filled us. Good man, by you work in my coating all one in my work in my deep fried. Now, by me got uh, some long egg, lo marinate salt pepper thank you chef norin so basically what he's mentioned here is that this is another simple recipe that you can make at home we've got the goodman filter flame flour that you can buy from your supermarket we've got the corn flour here we can uh, goodman filter corn flour this is very good for using especially with what we're doing tonight you can use this also for making gravy so there are a few ways that you can use this product uh, to incorporate into your cooking and also not forgetting we've got the famous Crisco cooking oil. It's very light. You can also uh, use the sunflower cooking oil and once again it con contains less saturated fat than other cooking oil so you might want to use this uh, when you're cooking at home. So uh, our recipe for tonight once again is chicken joy and yes another simple recipe that you can make at home. Our frying pan is um, pretty much preheated already so we're just going to add some cooking oil now. So, yes. uh, Chef, how much, how much oil do I have to uh, do? I have to add the whole bottle or? Whole bottle. Yes. Okay. So we just want to make sure our cooking oil is, is hot before we start cooking because yes. the frying pan is hot already. So while we're waiting for our oil to uh, heat up, we're just going to prepare the other stuff. So I'll let the chef uh, tell us what we have to do now. Okay, um, I'm marinating my chicken. I'm a chicken breast, a boneless chicken breast. First thing first, I'm going to cut the chicken go little strips past them. You see, 
I'm you cooking by Isilo, you kiss him a bite size. Huh? So chicken strips, it's like this size here. So if you can't find any chicken breast at the shop, they usually sell chicken pieces. You can get a kilo or half a kilo and you can't go wrong by using these uh, ingredients or products here in front of us to make your chicken joy. Okay, uh, you miss stripping chicken penis. Now by you will marination, marination pro program and uh, marination and uh, by, by me put in chicken. So we're just going to marinate the chicken pieces. What the chef is doing now is adding his chicken pieces. He's already uh, sliced or diced the chicken pieces. Now egg, one plate egg. So chef, can you tell our viewers why we're adding the egg into the chicken piece? Uh, look, making my chicken go sweet. Okay, okay. So adding the uh, egg into the uh, chicken to marinate it makes the chicken more um, sweet. Gives it that taste. And I think also it holds the, the flour or the other ingredients that we're going to use um, on the chicken. Salt, pepper. Corn flour. Uh, you may add him uh, fill this corn flour. Because corn flour by making my uh, chicken go crunchy. I mean, we're going to set the hot oil and by making him go crispy and uh, crunchy. Yeah. So, like we said earlier, you can also make uh, use this in other cooking as well, not just uh, what we're cooking tonight. Now, uh, click a drop of uh, Crisco cooking oil. I'm a product long Goodman Field Asset. Well, there you go, another use for Crisco cooking oil. There's a variety of ways you can use this cooking oil, and that's why I recommend this cooking oil if you're going to um, deep fry something or, or if you need oil. For your cooking. Now by me mix him. Mix him go until all get the ingredients mix up on them chicken now. Uh, and by you me wait lo one pla three or four minutes lo marinate. So when you're marinating your uh, chicken pieces with the egg and, and some Crisco cooking oil, you just want to leave that for about three minutes before you can start dipping it on the flour and uh, before it goes on the frying pan. I'm just going to check the oil, just make sure it's hot. Not yet, a few more minutes, seconds maybe. Okay, so what do we do next chef, we add this onto the flour or? Yes, baby. I marinate finish now. I'm putting all the flour. Okay. Coating one thing flour and uh, I'm going to check the hot oil. hot oil. So if you're going to make this at home, it's very important that uh, you clear up every area at home because we're dealing with hot oil and you don't want any hazard to be around your cooking area. So that's another important uh, thing that you should always remember when you're cooking food, especially in an open uh, environment like this as well. So chef, what do we do next? Next thing, I'm going to dip my chicken go inside the flour. Yes. Coat it with the flour and then dip I'm going to dip it inside the hot oil. Okay. Let me so just wait time if it's hot. Oil is all hot. I think I'm ready now. It's ready? All right, let's do this. All right, okay. Next step, I'm going to go now. Mix him chicken, put him on top of flour. Coat him on the flour. And then straight in the hot oil? Straight into the hot oil.
you must put in this here. No good oil by hot na cooking man this. Yeah, so like I said, when you're dipping these uh, chicken pieces, if you're gonna make this at home, just be careful. Especially when it comes to dipping the chicken pieces on the hot oil. That's cooking. Um, chef, can you see the golden crisp color? Yes. Uh, chicken joy by taking about uh, six or seven minutes to cook inside the hot oil. Chicken joy is one of the best recipe for me to make the catering. Plenty of customers for me to make the like him, uh, chicken joy. Plenty of people are there. I'm one of finger food for customers for me to make the like the finger food. I'm one of the chicken joy. So, Chef, uh, most of the products that you guys use at KCK Catering are all Goodman Filler products? Yes. So, you will also use some uh, uh, plain flame flour, and Crisco cooking oil, and corn flour, and all the time, all products are Goodman Filters. So, we just want to make sure the color is yeah. golden brown. Golden brown. Okay, uh, chicken is ready now. Um, I'm going crispy and uh, crunchy now. I'm ready, so I'm going to start saving now. First, uh, save go on top of one plate grease proof paper. So what we're doing now is the chef is just taking out the uh, hot or cooked chicken pieces and placing it here on the chopping board. As you can see, we've got some uh, serviettes or paper towel that you can use to get rid of the excess fat that's dripping off the chicken pieces before we can start serving um, our chicken. That looks good, Chef. Yeah. Now that didn't take long, Chef. It's a very simple recipe, very right? Simple. Yes. It just takes a few steps. You chop up your chicken, you've got everything. You've got your cooking oil, your corn flour and your flame flour as well and you're good to go. Alright, I'm just gonna switch this off so we can save some gas. Alright, okay, our chicken is ready. Uh, but you may start saving on top of the plate now. So the sh chef is gonna uh, start serving our uh, chicken joy or the dish for this evening, chef. Yes, okay, uh, but you may save one time rice. We got our black cup rice tap. So you can pretty much uh, serve your chicken, whether it's with salad or chips. Um, now we're using rice to go with our chicken joy. So like you said, this is a very flexible dish that you can make at home. Tomato sauce on the side. That looks good, Chef. And there you have it, viewers. Your Chicken Joy made using quality Goodman Filter products. Good friends, good food. That's good men feel that. Wow, how good was that? Amazing. All right, you can cook up a meal like that at home using quality products from Goodman Filter. Good friends, good food, that's Goodman Filter. 
we take our first break, but more on the other side when we come back. Welcome back. Are you wondering how you can make your state of origin experience really one to remember? Here is Leon from Brian Bell. Good evening and welcome to this segment of Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gowie. Tomorrow night will be the first installment of the State of Origin series for 2016. Now, this is a game that stops the nation of Papua New Guinea, literally. And here at Brian Bell, we have several products that are absolutely perfect to cater to you during this time of the year. State of Origin is something that brings together people so you'll need furniture. Brian Bell has lots of great range furniture that can assist you in this area. There's TVs that you can watch that we will show you tonight and soundbars that are absolutely perfect to accompany your TV. But first, let's, let, let's have a look at the merchandise we have available here at Brian Bell. Merchandise for the Blues and the Mighty Maroons. As many of you already know, Brian Bell has the widest range of quality sports equipment and also supporters merchandise and this extends to the NRL merchandise that we have available here for you to choose from. We have all your favorite team's merchandise, specifically for this time of the NRL season, State of Origin. Whether you support a New South Wales team or you're a diehard Queenslander, Brian Bell has the merchandise that will help you show your true colors. Now here's a fun fact about State of Origin. Over 30% of the points are scored in the back end of the game or the last quarter of the game. What this simply indicates is that the matches are played right down to the wire, making it an awesome spectacle for all supporters to watch. Yes! Now once you have your State of Origin merchandise, all that's left to do is watch the game. And there are several places that you can go to to watch this State of Origin. But the best place, in my opinion, is in the comfort of your own home, behind your own TV. Let's go check out some Brian Bell TVs. And you and I both know that Brian Bell has the best quality televisions that will be absolutely perfect for watching the games on. We have an amazing range of televisions that can cater to your budget, with a size range starting from 50 inches to the massive 90-inch television. Brian Bell has the TV that will show you the telecast of State of Origin this year. We have the TV that suits your needs in terms of size range and quality brands that we stock and sell. The first product to show is this LCD LED Sharp Akios 40 inch television. The reason why this is perfect to watch all the, all the matches for the state of origin in this year is because of the large screen which all your family and mates can watch and because of the LED and LCD feature which gives you a high resolution quality viewing experience for you in this state of origin series. Next is this 50-inch StarVision LED TV. It's 10 inches bigger than the previous product and also of the highest quality. This television is ideal for the larger families that enjoy a good game to watch. And what better way to watch the state of origin than on this LED TV? This TV is easy to carry and maneuver and the light emitted from the back comes through and is polarized and diffused in the LCD LED feature. What this does is gives you crystal clear images so you don't have to squint and look at the images. The good thing about this is that it'll save your eyes in the long run because the picture quality is much clearer and it helps your eyesight. Here's another fun fact about State of Origin. 16 out of the 22 series played thus far have been decided in the third and final game, making this a thrill for all fans rather than a one-sided series. And this series could be the same, so don't miss any of the action. Now the next feature product is this 60 inch LCD LED Sharp Akios television. This is a massive TV for a massive event like State of Origin 
this is perfect for you to watch all the highlights and all the matches in this series. Now, the good thing about this TV is that you won't miss a thing. All the highlights, the hits, the tackles, the runs, everything you can watch on this. You won't miss a thing. And a noted addition onto this TV are the soundbars we have available. These soundbars are absolutely perfect to accompany your TVs from Brian Bell and it provides you high quality sound where you won't miss all the commentary and all the action in the game. Now what makes a good program great is the sound quality because it engages more of your senses and here at Brian Bell we have a good range of different sound bars perfect to go with your TV. Now if you're like me and you like to get into all the hype of this time of the year with State of Origin, you want to listen to the expert analysis and the commentary or the highlights that come on the screen, then a soundbar is absolutely perfect for that. And Brian Bell has high quality soundbars that are absolutely perfect to go with your TV. These amplify the sound without distorting the quality of the sound so you can hear perfectly what they're saying on TV. Now another good thing about these soundbars is that when you lift up the volume, it filters out the in-house commentator sitting next to you while you're watching the game so you can appreciate more of the commentary from the people on TV. The next product is this Maxell soundbar. This is perfect to go with your new TV. With its slick design, it's pleasing to the eye and it's mobile enough to fit onto your TV stand right next to your new TV. Maxell is a brand that is known and trusted here at Brian Bell and our Maxell soundbars are absolutely perfect to accompany your new TV that you bought from Brian Bell so you can watch the State of Origin. A notable mention is the range of furnitures we have here in our furniture department that can help while you're sitting and enjoying the game. With furnitures like our recliners and comfortable sofas and one which is an absolute fan favorite, our bean bags, which are comfy and versatile and give you back a full support while you're watching and supporting your side. Before I let you go and say goodnight, I'd like to remind you that Brian Bell has all the State of Origin merchandise that you can need for this series. We also have great quality TVs and soundbars that you can pick up so you can watch and catch all the action this State of Origin time. And also, our furniture like our bean bags and our recliners are absolutely perfect to furnish your house so all your guests can sit down and enjoy the game with you. Come on into our home centers and pick one up right now before it's too late. And always remember, great prices, great products. That's Brian Bell. For now, it's good night and God bless. And go the mighty Maroons! Ever wonder why youth violence still exists and grows in our community? Is there a possibility of stopping this? Dr. Ambi and I had a discussion on this. Take a look. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Good evening and welcome to Healthy Minds with the ever beautiful Dr. Ambi. Now we're so grateful that you could join us in this edition. Now last week, Doctor, you talked to us about youth violence. We understand that youth violence has grown to be a disease, not just within our country, but a global issue. So you know what, I'm just gonna throw the ball right at you because I know you are here to talk to us about that. We wanna know what youth violence is. So doctor, what is youth violence? Uh, thanks Victoria. I know that you are so interested to know about youth violence uh, mainly to change our country and transform our countries. But well you said it's, it's quite an endemic and epidemic viewers. It's, it's like Victoria uh, and uh, we are here to talk about it. It's, it's a common issue throughout the world and not only in PNG. So the violence, it's basically violence by young people is one of the most visible 
visible form of violence in the society. So, emo semblo, you hari mo semblo violence by gangs or street fights by school kids or this la kind. And especially the one him something em come up lo this la like homicide that all same all killing all money at all young people. This is the age between 10 and 29 years old. So by you look him also non fatal assault. You know you fight him all nothing no good through involving it with the guns and involving with the young pe people who contribute greatly to not only globally also law even within our country to bring a big burden specifically a big time cost come up law uh, you know kind kind different sectors and premature death and injuries and disabilities so also one plus something very concerned and also mainly the victims are we worried about and also perpetrators so they both need some kind of mental health issues that, that that's how I could describe youth violence uh, Victoria all right so you mentioned that it sort of kills um, yeah. uh, causes a uh, premature death yes um, so what we'd like to know is how how does uh, youth violence um, develop yes how does it begin yes you you are right because it's a very important question uh, what you're asking now, Victoria, because we know that youth violence itself, it, uh, first of all, before I say about the development, uh, it actually causes, like, de like it affects the health of all these people and also reduce the productivity. And also we know that value of the property, you know, some plus something big plus issues come up lo country na, all man book him kind kind, and give him all bad name lo country na, tourism na, all kind of like issues comes in. So how does this youth violence begin? Some viewers, I want to tell you something. Some children, they exhibit some kind of uh, problem in the behavior when they are young. Okay, right. so when the early childhood, uh, you know, gradually develops, so aggression, what you see, it, so it's a main, many different form. It start beginning. So one of them is to it gradually starts and it uh, comes to a point while they are growing. At one point, I heard that is called life course. Uh, persistent developmental uh, you know pathway that means when picking in a young plus trade and also you pine him or same they have a severe form of abuses or severe form of issues and they become very aggressive in their own way as they grow up becoming adolescent this is a passing in young people who are fitting into that category slowly grows up and becoming a violent people mm. when they are uh, adolescents. That's all one of them. So it's a uh, scarring which happens in the childhood mm -hmm. and the child who is a bit aggressive, which is not tackled when they are young. And then um, young people who fit into this category, that's one of the way. And they over the period when they are developing when young adulthood, okay, all by Karim Disla Pasini, go low, uh, side low adulthood itself. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. So, uh, 
uh, what will I tell you, uh, Victoria? You know, the other factor is the situational factor, like me talk talk penis law, situational factor. I started already about that. But what happens is the the motive of the violence. You know, like many people all by thinking more say, "Ma, why, why na him kiss him? Why him kind something and make him law, make him this la kind crossy come up mm. or some la kind a gangsters or worrying and fighting on the streets and you know striking or kind kind something and by come up. And number two, where the behavior is occurring. Now me talk talk penis before. That is, is it in the bar or is it in the street? Or when I'm hap na emi through through emi start this la kind issue. And also at the number three viewers I want to tell you whether we are they are using weapons. Okay, what kind of weapons or any kind of instruments or anything which is present or by using law bagarapim this like group issues. Number three, whether the people uh, other than the victim are uh, offenders are present. Some of the time this like, issue by come that those are all situational. Okay. Mm. It's only the offender and the perpetrator is you know, the perpetrator is the offender who walk him now, victim and missed up. Apart from them, are there any other group of people around which are stimulating and instigating this kind of issues, you see? So it is not only I'm getting up to fight, but who is instigating, who is Who's doing it, who that. is behind all of them, mm. psyching them up, you see. And whether the action is such as like is it a bug like you, you all say you know, also bagrapi more man, but are you break and entering, uh, or you you know breaking all the shops? Uh, you know, you, we have seen that all, isn't it? So whether the actions are uh, not only are you fighting a person, or are you breaking, taking that situation to become an, a big issue to make a certain big issues, and are involved that could be uh, conducive to violence. So. One him something, lick lick something, him can bagger up him, think think blow man. The whole mm. thing goes back to the mind, eh, Victoria. Yes. So it's the mind is the most important thing. So what is it bothering? Or you know, walk him old man, marry him, come up lo this la. Between the age of 10 to 29, viewers, I want to tell you, you have to be taking care of your kids because the all starts from the beginning. Me talk talk penis or same the pathway, and me come up lo young pla, him stop bell blow you me yet so, so it's all um, Victoria coming back to and also viewers is the age okay I said between 10 and 29 years old and minor incidents can escalate to a major problem okay and it also that age group, the adrenaline is pumping, they become very inquisitive, they want to involve in the planning and plotting and because they are so uh, thrill-seeking, you see. So the age group is such as thrill-seeking, they just wanted to get something there. So the most important factor here, the development, I'm sure I have made uh, some like kind Think thing come up from young play yet the pathway goes on to the adulthood to become a, a developing a youth violence the drunkenness is an important factor and we see most of the time people are drunk or taking drugs before they commit some kind of crime mm -hmm. or violence or this like intimidating people and we, which we have the ground rule we have no right to touch anybody or to hit anybody or to abuse use somebody but we feel drunkenness is an important factor is to start the situation that's how it all begins Victoria yes all right thank you it's Doctor. a mouthful isn't it it is <laughs> yes but like you said again it boils down to our mindset I mean yes. after all everything doesn't just happen you yes. know there's a motive behind everything so when I when we think the right way and our motives are correct and obviously the fruits of what we think in yes. our mind will be correct as well. So You're right, Victoria. Thank yes. you, Doctor, so much for talking to us about um, youth violence and what it really is because it obviously affects and targets mainly our youth within our country and the world as a whole, as I've mentioned earlier on. Yeah. So. so, well, Victoria, I think before I want to wrap up, but also I would like to tell the viewers that the parenting is very important. Please. You know, parenting is important. So, viewers, we are coming to the end. Parents are very important. Mm. Make sure your kids are uh, 
uh, taken in the right pathway because the country blow you may me nice plug good plug country and I may plug got good plug passing blow you may stop or same passing and me come up blow thinking blow you mean now how now you me you know also you stand up now make la laugh about what the kids are doing it I think take ownership and mm. I want to parenting is very very important and I'm sure the next week I'm sure Victoria you will join us again oh, yeah, I would know? love yes very much well, love to join we you. will we will talk about viewers we will talk about the roots of violence and also how to prevent violence. Am I right, Victoria? Correct. Well, viewers, one plus big plus something good in Papa God first. And now word blow Papa God and big plus something. Now put him inside Lord Pekinini to defeat him this like kind of youth violence. Well, uh, Victoria, that's all from me today. Thank you, Doctor, and thank you so much, viewers, for your time with us. Until the next time, it's bye for now. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom P&G Limited. Truly having a healthy mind means a healthier lifestyle. Thank you Victoria and Dr. Ambi for that. BSP has been doing a lot of community work in and around the country. We salute you for your great work. Tina Pomet joins us now for an update on what BSP have been doing during this month. Good evening viewers and welcome to another BSP program. Tonight we begin with the launch of BSP's new campaign and I know some of you have heard and seen our new campaign. It follows BSP's recent acquisition of Westpac operations in Solomon Islands, Cook Islands, Samoa, and Tonga. Our key message, We Are You, We Are BSP, brings together our cultures, our values, and our families to unite in building the Pacific brand. It reinforces our commitment to our customers, our region, and the communities in which we operate in, and promotes unity in diversity when we represent a powerful PNG in Pacific brand. We are you, we are BSP, and we are proud to promote our reach in the Pacific that stands to bring respected customers, skilled employees, and specialized processes and systems. BSP is a leading regional financial service business, maximizing future opportunities from PNG's growing long-term trade and economic influence in the region. We're very excited to share this message with everyone. Moving on to our sponsorship activities for this month, BSP continued its diamond sponsorship towards one of the major bilateral meetings between Australia and PNG. The 32nd PNG Australia Business Forum and Trade Expo, which was successfully held at the Convention Centre in Cairns from May 15th to the 17th with the team Today's Investments, Tomorrow's Returns. BSP had a trade booth to showcase its financial services available to businesses who wish to conduct business in PNG. The PNG Human Resource Institute was another proud recipient of BSP's sponsorship at bronze level towards their national annual conference held on the 17th to the 19th May at the Crown Plaza Hotel Port Mosby with the theme Beyond Our 40 Years and Onward into the 21st Century. The conference attracted human resource professionals in the private and public sector in PNG who came together and discussed issues that currently affect human resource specialists in the country and provided ideas and solutions to these issues. Now moving on to our community projects, BSP branches and staff nationwide have successfully delivered 9 out of 45 projects so far. For this month, two projects were handed over. BSP first installed a 9,500 litre water tank, presented sporting equipment and a first aid kit to Takara Primary School. The water tank will benefit 1,000 students and 22 teachers to have access to clean water should there be a water shortage in the future, as this is the case for the school at most times. BSP's Human Resource Business Unit renovated the administration building at Coronation Primary School. 
The renovation involved replacing fascia boards and posts, replacing rotten corridor walls and repainting the building. The team also placed a new notice board and erected benches in front of the office. The school's head teacher, Mr. Ellie Alka, was impressed and praised BSB for lending a helping hand as the project was a timely boost for the school. To conclude, BSB soccer team and BSB ladies touch team worked in support of the Leniata Legacy House Cry 2016 in Port Mosby on the 15th May from Jack Piddick Park at 4.30 a.m. to the Ella Beach Amphitheatre. The walk was in partnership with Walk for Life PNG. The House Cry is a demonstration led by a grassroots coalition of over 40 different women's groups and NGOs making a strong stand for safe communities. We are saying no to all forms of violence in the workplace, home and communities. This brings us to the end of our program for tonight. Join us next month for more BSP updates. Until then, good night. We are, we are you. We are BSP. If you're a blessed pet owner, then Animal Plus is the perfect place for you to learn all about how you can take care of your pets. Our experts from RSPCA will talk to us more on this. So why is vaccination important? Vaccination is important for your pet because as you would want a happy and healthy family, every family member in your family should be, you know, kept healthy, including your pets. Now vaccination for cats and dogs helps to protect them um, as immunisation does for children. It protects them against um, diseases that affect their livelihood. The RSPCA feels that it's important to start educating our younger generations about responsible pet ownership and we've also started an education program on wildlife conservation. So what we do through our education program is promote the five basic freedoms for all creatures, great and small, whether they're domestic animals, um, farming animals or wildlife as I mentioned before. So we have a team of four dedicated education teachers who go out to the schools on a weekly basis and talk to students about how they can care for their pets and also um, to help discourage the trade of wildlife on our streets. I think there's a poster behind me that says to stop buying animals. Before we wash a cat, we need to know what type of cat it is. Is it a, a grumpy one? Is it aggressive? Or is it a friendly cat? You have towel, the brush, uh, you have some cotton, cotton buds, and then you also have the nail clipper because it's part of the grooming, so we have to have all these things. And then you also have the blow dryer. You have to all have all these things in order before you start the washing. And then you can use a cup or something, just to pour the water on. Shampoo. You pour the shampoo down right through the back, one line. Rub, massage, all over the body. Be careful with the eyes. Some cats, they do struggle. So in that case, we have to fight with the cat. It's just normal washing. We clean the face, and then we make sure we clean the ears, wash the ears, the nails, the paws, sorry, the back, the belly, everything.
and then you get a towel you open up the towel you put it like this and then you put the cat while drying you have to do the blow drying as well you make the cat dry faster when you dry it with the blow dryer because uh, with the towel it won't dry properly so this one helps the towel to dry the cat properly you can also use this one the brush this will help in drying the air quickly also Okay, it's done now, see? So the last thing we have to do, we have to clip the nails and then we have to clean the ears and then that's it. So I'll cut the nails. This is the nail cutter. So this one you have to open the cat here. Go around like this. No, not yet. And then you close this one. You massage the base. You wipe it off. And then inside the folds, you have to use the cotton bud. Well, viewers, unfortunately, we have come to the end of this show. We know you have enjoyed this show. If you'd like to see more of our show, please visit MTV Online. And remember, viewers, that there's more that you can get for your home and lifestyle improvement when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Until the next episode, I am Theresa Miriam. And I'm Victoria Gima. And on behalf of the House and Home team, goodbye. It's all about the better man. For your life with